Hey guys, Eric here, bringing you another Two Brew Dudes Light. I know what you're thinking, it's been a while. Uh, had my wisdom teeth removed and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, but today I'm bringing you probably one of my favorite beers. Oscar Blues 1050. Um, it's an Imperial Stout from uh, Oscar Blues Brewing Company out of uh, Colorado. If you've never had it, have their Old Chub, uh, their Pale Ale. Their Pale Ale is probably one of the best, in my opinion, pool beers you could have. Um, it's, it's a good hoppy beer that's great in the summer. They get the name 1050 from the fact that it is 10.5% alcohol by volume. So it's a big beer. Let's cut to the chase and uh, give it a pour. Oh, come on, I'm not a kid. I can do more than that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Stop. 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 Ah, oh, shit. A lot of people, uh, especially fellow beer snobs, like to, uh, like to think that cans are not a good thing. But if you look at recent years, if you look at Anderson Valley, uh, you look at Deep Ellum Brewing Company, um, a lot of companies like that, a lot of people are going to cans. Well, let's talk about the color. Uh, this is a dark beer. I mean, this is probably one of the darkest beers I've ever had. Pointing it straight at a light and I cannot see it. It's got a nice, thick, kind of milk chocolate head on it. Frankly, it's gorgeous. Plus, it's 10.5% alcohol, so gets you where, gets you where you need to be. First thing you catch on your nose is chocolate, um, a dark chocolate kind of uh, kind of smell to it. But you also catch you catch some roasted coffee and roasted malts. Um, it's a very malty beer. It's a stout. You kind of expect that. This is my favorite part. Give it a drink. This isn't a heavy beer. When I say big beer, I mean big alcohol content. Um, this comes in a four pack, so that kind of tells you what you're what you're coming up against. I mean, a four pack is more than what you need for a, you know, a night of hanging around, playing video games, whatever you do. It's a big beer in the fact that it has high alcohol, but it's a medium bodied beer. It's, it's very creamy and it's not overpowering. If you were to, if you were to try multiple beers, this beer doesn't ruin your palate for an entire night. Uh, just like with the nose, you catch, at, at first you catch some, you catch a little bit of coffee, uh, not a lot, but just, just a little bit and a lot of roasted malts. Um, I would say that's the primary taste of this beer. And then it's, it's sort of bitter, uh, when it comes to a, uh, when it comes to a stout, I'd say it's on the higher end of the bitterness scale, uh, but it's more of a coffee bitterness and it's. Really, it's a great beer. Like I was saying earlier, cans have been getting a bad rep the last, I don't know, 10 years. Uh, but if you look at the recent can resurgence that you get from, uh, you get from Oscar Blues, you get from, uh, you get from Deep Ellum, you get from Anderson Valley, a lot of their beers are coming in as cans. And the reason that is because no longer are the can lining some toxic, weird, weird stuff. I mean, they've perfected aluminum to the point to where you can actually, you can actually drink out of it and not taste it. I was reading an article and it said the reason they start, you know, they started putting in cans. Cans are more, they're more environmentally friendly. They're more space conscious. You know, stuff like that. You can stack cans, you can't stack bottles, kind of thing. You got to give uh, Oscar Blue some credit. Man, take another drink. I love just about everything Oscar Blues. They make great beer. So if you see a 1050 near you, I would say definitely pick it up. Dogs are going nuts. So as always, I'm Eric from Two Brew Dudes. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at Two Brew Dudes, um, on Facebook slash Two Brew Dudes, and on Instagram. And also follow me on Untapped at Badfish13 and, uh, and follow my counterpart, Nick at uh, Nick Catterham. So, thanks for watching. Cheers. Wow. Um, that's great.